What is going on today? We have found ourselves in the lovely Waco, Texas. Where in Waco are we, you may be asking? Well, we are at the YOX2 Reptile Store. You guys, of course, know Sean. He is a good buddy of mine. He comes to all the shows. He helps support my setup at shows as well. And it is time we made the trip down to Waco, and we are here to check out his shop. So I am super excited to see what all he has what all the shop is set up like. I have never been to a reptile store in Waco, so this is the first time for me. And hopefully he can give you guys some insight of what products he has to offer. And this is kind of the outside of the shop. It's definitely a very simplistic setup. You wouldn't expect to see a reptile store down this road of like automotive stuff. Like all down there is a bunch of car shops and random vehicle stuff like that. And then boom, all of a sudden we have a reptile store. Also got some supplies to deliver to Sean as well, so I'm super excited. We've got plenty planned, and without further ado, let's head on inside. So Mr. Ty is unloading, all, I guess, the, the 100 pounds of sand. I was going to help him get one bag, but nah, he's going to be a beast. It's all good. <laughs> and then we've got this box. Look, I'll, I'll grab this box. That way I can look like I'm doing a little bit of something. Okay? Oh, yeah. I am super stoked to be here. We're gonna take a look at some of the animals they have for sale, but more importantly, I wanna take a look at the anaconda. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting to take a look at their anaconda. So along with that, we're gonna look at the anaconda and just some of the other kind of private animals that they have. But starting off in their sales room, they are already kind of sold out of a lot of stuff. They were telling me they had stuff in all sorts of different places. And as you can see, it went bye-bye. But starting off on this rack here, we've got some ball pythons, a super pastel right there, a fireball python over there. We got some normals right over here, a Cali king snake. These guys are super awesome. And here's a little sand boa, but obviously you're not gonna see it because it's burrowed in the sand. Then there's a Burmese python. That thing is gorgeous. Down here, they've got a, a beautiful red Euromastix. He's kind of just chilling right on his ledge. Brazilian rainbow boa, this thing is super dope. I absolutely love these guys. And as some of y'all know, I have a Brazilian rainbow boa at home. We've got an axolotl. Hi, buddy. What are you doing, mi amigo? That's a wall, that's, that's a cage. You can't go this way. Then there's a little common snapping turtle. You can see them right up on the plant there. And some of my favorite, these Amazon milk frogs. Oh my goodness. I love these little fellas. Then we got a Pac-Man frog. Then we've got some invertebrates. We've got some jumping spiders, tarantula, all sorts of fun stuff like that. Then of course, you can never forget the crested geckos. So we've got some super pretty crested gecko babies all in these cages here. Then moving over here, we've got some dry goods and whatnot, just a whole variety. We've got some cleaner. We've got a bunch of lighting and whatnot. Some products brought to you by yours truly, Pyro Toad. Some hides, cork, and other materials like that. And then of course, bedding and fake foliage. But yeah, basically Pyrotoad is partnering with YOX2 Reptile. And huge shout out to my boy Ty for the art. Like this is insane. Yeah, that guy did this. That is a pretty cool mural. And then, guess who just showed up? The man himself, what's up, Sean. What's up? Yeah, I mean, we got a lot to show you. Uh, we ain't even went to the back room yet. That is true. We had not even stepped foot in that room. And that's really what I want to see. And the number one animal I've been waiting on is Oscar the Anaconda. Bro. He's coming. He's coming. I, we I've got, been wanting. We got to clean him out. So you, today's your day. You get to hold him, clean him out. Yeah, let's just Bro, go. okay. I'm like the, uh, what I'm an honorary employee for the day. Yes. What? cages that we got to touch today. Okay. We have Oscar, Boosie, Thor. Okay. But Thor isn't alone, so it's it's like a two-in-one type of thing with all right, him. All right, that all right. All uh, right. We got water changes to do, poop to clean up, shed to clean out, uh, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Christian, our honorary employee for the day, is <laughs> yes. going to be helping us out. Yes. So, extra hands means faster work, right? Exactly. exactly. We're going to get to it here pretty quickly. Y'all stay tuned. Here we go. We are stepping foot 
Holy crap! This is a lot. I didn't know it went this far down. Oh my gosh, guys! First of all, all of, you built these enclosures, right? Or no? Yeah. You built all of these by hand, y'all too, or whatever. Yes, sir. Bro, <laughs> I have. I am so lazy. I'd rather go and buy this sort of stuff than have it built. No. So that is a huge. Like huge just, props to you guys. It feels better when it's built. You know what? That is true. That is true. Not mining any of the cages behind me. Look at that, guys. It's like wall-to-wall -wall enclosures. This is sick. I think we're getting out an anaconda or something. That one I have been waiting for. All right, here we go. Here we go. I've only held one green anaconda so far. So this is going to make number two. Lucky number two, bro. I am pumped. Let's get it. Let's do it. And his name is Oscar, correct? Yes, sir. This is Oscar, and I I got the name Oscar because of uh, the Sesame Street Sesame Street. Oh, like the, uh, the dude in the trash can. <laughs> Look who's here. Well, don't say anything. Just listen up. Oh boy, Green Anaconda time. Hello, Mr. Oscar. Hey. Guys, Green Anaconda, and these guys come from South America. Hi, hi, Calvin. Kiss. Hey. No. Okay. He doesn't want to give me a kiss. Mr. Oscar here is absolutely gorgeous too. This is a beautiful snake. Where are you going now? Where's he going? Where is he going? Uh oh, I think I'm becoming anaconda prey. He's wrapping around me. I'm a capybara in the South American rainforest. Coiling itself around the large rodent. Want a green anaconda? And I, <laughs> I, said, I said, why not? There's no option. I, I couldn't, I couldn't turn it down. Yeah, I said, why not? And then that's how me and Oscar, you know, came about. And then um, he was like, yeah, he, he's very docile. And I mean, you should have seen me. Well, I have a video on my YouTube actually from when I okay. first got him. And in the video, you'll see I was scared. Really? I, I was scared. I was a little intimidated because it's a green anaconda. Yeah. Like really, really thick. Right. He's gonna keep that slender sort yeah, but of look. He, he can still, he still will get long though. Oh my God, guys, I'm sorry. He's wrapping around the camera here, so that's why the, <laughs> the footage is all over. Guys, we've got an anaconda on the camera here. Y'all see that? Anaconda on the loose. <laughs> an anaconda on the loose, literally. Oscar has got my arms here. He's wrapped all around this arm. He wants to go to this cage here, but we're gonna say no to that. Now this is my dream snake like if i could own one of these i would right now it's just not possible but I'm you, but you will eventually eventually but i cannot go in without saying thank you to sean at wild x2 reptiles for allowing me to work with this animal beautiful beautiful snake hey you're doing too much work here oh my bad right, hold on, let Sorry, me take I'm, this from I'm you moving too fast yeah, yeah. Get oh yeah so we don't get water so we don't, get any, don't damage the the cam of course of course look i gotta do this here Look at that. Oh boy. Look at all that lovely turtle water. That tub is ready to go. Look at that. All Magnificent. Right. Yes, sir. All right, what are you doing? All right, so I'm putting Bowser back. Get a good look at him. Look at Bowser. While he's out the water. We he rarely see him out the water. Dang, this dude is getting so big. He is, man. Um, so, so yeah, let's put him back and uh, see how he likes this sand. Let's see. His new bedding is in the enclosure. There he goes. What do you think? He, he's gonna kick up all this sand until he, <laughs> he figures out, oh dang, this ain't no more uh, lava rock. <laughs> yeah, he's not used to his usual uh, lava rock. He's gonna be like, dang, I can, I can dig in this now? I can burrow now? <laughs> look, 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 look what he's doing, look what he's doing. And that's the first thing he's doing. The he's first digging. thing. Just wait till it clears up. Yeah, it is still a little murky, of course. With sand, it always has some murkiness. Um, but I think we did a pretty good job oh, yeah. rinsing we it. It's did. pretty clear already. So there we have it. Bowser is in his newly improved enclosure. We've got some sand. We can always add more as we go. We've got a whole nother bag right there. So we are, we're chilling. Oh my lord. Literally floor to ceiling enclosures guys we've got the sulcata tortoises down there and up there is an iguana y'all know i have my blue iguana at home i love iguanas they always have a special place in my heart all right so do you want me to get up in there now yes, we gotta sir. get the food prepared oh, okay okay this is sick 
I cannot wait for my iguana to get this big. Hello. And of course, she loves blueberries. She loves blueberries, does she really? So we are literally in the enclosure of this iguana. We brought some lovely veggies, we got some blueberries. I think this iguana is about a chow down for sure. Take my blueberry, please. She's not taking the food. There she goes, finally. See, with animals like this, it just, it really takes some warming up. There right. we go. There we go. Now, now she's eating. Look at this guy. This is literally like a small dog. And they're so well behaved, so chill, so fat. Hi, buddy. I've had Thor since I moved to Texas, which was two years ago. Okay, that hurts so bad, but I love it. Look at that gut right there, guys. Look at that squishiness. Come on. Hello. There you go. There you go. That is the coolest thing. Intensity, hello. All of my animals just giving you kisses, man. I know, they, they're just kissing the camera like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she is so much heavier than Oscar. Bro, what? Hello. Slick the retake. Stop, look, come over here. Look at that. Ooh. That's wild. Dang, wow. Now, some of y'all may know this, some of y'all may not, but that iridescence actually comes from literally hundreds, if not thousands, of little tiny, like, platelets on the scales. Microscopic levels, and when the light hits them, the light is refracted, creating that gorgeous iridescent color. So think about it like a, a thousands of tiny little mirrors almost on each individual scale that you cannot see, but they're there creating a gorgeous iridescence. All of your animals are like very calm, very well maintained, very um, non-aggressive, which of course is a good thing for most people. So that, that's pretty good. There she goes back into her enclosure. Go free. And Nigel is a caiman. Okay, from here he looks so goofy. <laughs> he looks so goofy from here. Very feisty. Is he? So he's a, he packs a little punch. <laughs> and he's very quick too. Look, he's he's pretty calm. Whee! Oh my lord. See, I'm in his territory though. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, so. the water. So he's a little faster here. Yep. <laughs> let, oh, let him get up on the rocks with me. Nigel? Nigel? You calm down, you be, Nigel. You be nice. You calm down, Nigel. Calm down, Nigel. <laughs> yeah, he Alrighty, you guys, we have just concluded our tour at YOX2 Reptiles. Yes, sir. Sean, thank you for the hospitality. It means the world to me, man. No problem, man. I know you gotta go, brother. Yeah, we had <laughs> we had some unfortunate plans oh, occur yeah. in the middle of this, but we're not gonna let that stop us. This is gonna be an insane video. Cannot wait to show all of you guys. Let's go. I'll see you later, sir. Bye, brother. Uh-uh-uh, quit. No, you gotta give some to your buddy now. You gotta give some to Lee. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my gosh! Look at Nigel. I don't think he's having it. It's alright though, we won't, we won't stress him out too much. I do respect their space as much as I want to hold him. 
It's all right. Nigel, one day, one day. Go back, go back. No, 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 no.